To assign a program to be run using Task Analysis Data Collection, begin by selecting a program whose targets have been ordered to run as a task analysis. In the Targets tab, arrange your targets in your preferred order. In the Parameters tab, use the drop-down menu to select Task Analysis. Next, select the program type, Forward Chain, Backward Chain, or Total Task. Forward Chain will display only the first target for data collection when running the program. Once that target is mastered, the first two steps of the chain will be displayed for data collection, and so on. Data collection is not available for the rest of the chain. Backward Chain will display only the last target for data collection. Once that target is mastered, the last two steps will be displayed for data collection, and so on. Data collection is not available for the rest of the chain. If total task is selected, all targets will have data collection available. Set the mastery criteria for your program. For this example, I'm going to select 90% for two consecutive sessions. Next, choose the prompts that will be presented when running the program. You must choose at least one prompt in order to assign the program. Choose a variety of prompts to create a prompt hierarchy, or choose our generic prompt and minus prompt options. This is how a program assigned with total task analysis data collection appears when running the program. The targets for each step of the chain appear here, with my data collection buttons in this column. These are my prompt buttons that I selected, as well as a button to indicate that the client completed the step independently. I must complete all data points in the chain before I am able to record the program data. If forward chain task analysis has been selected, this is what the program will look like when I'm running it. The first step of the chain is available for data collection. Once that step meets mastery criteria over the prescribed number of sessions, the next step will also be available for data collection in the next execution. If backward chain task analysis has been selected, this is what the program will look like when I am running it. The last step of the chain is available for data collection. Once that step meets master criteria over the prescribed number of sessions, the last two steps will be available for data collection in the next execution. Task analysis data that has been successfully recorded looks like this. The steps of the chain that were included in the execution are listed here, and the results for each step are listed here. I can hover over each data point to see what prompt level was used.